Hello my dear students, welcome to my new class and uh, this is a very good moment for you. Hope uh, you will you are going to get a new concept of mathematics so that you can develop your knowledge and today I am going to discuss the chapter indices and exponent. Okay, the chapter name is exponent for the students of class 8 and chapter name is indices for the students of class 9. Okay, actually the chapter indices and exponent the basic thing or basic concept same in these two, two chapters basic concepts are same but since class 8 students are are beginner so they have to solve some basic problems okay, on in this class chapter. Nine, but the problems are relatively hard than the problem are in class 8 okay so before discussion of this chapter i would like to introduce a symbol okay what is symbol suppose i am writing 2 into 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 2 okay so suppose i want to multiply a number 2 how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 times i want to multiply a number 2 okay so to write this number that suppose i want to multiply a number 2 up to 8 times then we have to write in this way so to write into this way we need more space more time and more ink also so we will express this concept into a symbolic form is it clear to you we are going to dis express this concept into a symbolic form which symbol is suitable for it we will use the symbol in the place of 2 into 2 into 2 how many times 8 times are there so we will use this 2 and we will use a number on the head of 2 okay so this is we read as 2 to the power 8 okay so 2 to the power 8 is a symbolic form so 2 to the power 8 we will read as 2 to the power 8 so here 2 to the power h is the symbolic form or this is called in mathematics in standard language this is called exponent form is it clear to you this symbolic form is called exponent form clear so this is the symbol 2 to the power 8 so if we i write now suppose i am writing now that 3 to the power 7 then clearly you would you could understand about the concept what 3 to the power 7 exactly is okay 3 to the power 7 means what 7 times multiplication of 3 what is the meaning of 5 to the power 3 that means we have to multiply 5 into 5 into 5 3 times and this is 7 times multiplication of 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 7 times multiplication of 3 so we will use this concept this concept so these are called exponent of number or exponential form of a number is it clear so this is the symbol so in this number exponents exponential form of a number the number 3 is called here the 3 is called uh, base and the number 7 is called power or index okay power index or degree is it clear to you so this is the main concept of uh, exponent you when we, we use the symbol when a number a repeated time will multiply repeated time same number when we multiply then we can use this symbol see here 2 into 2 into 2 the number 2 is fixed and repeated time we are going to multiply here so that is why we can use this symbol is it clear to you okay next next one thing that
So therefore, what is the meaning of x? x to the power 3, suppose. We read as x cube. So x cube means here we have to multiply x how many times? 3 times. x into x into x. This is the symbolic form or exponent form. Symbolic form is in rough word. Okay. Actually, exponent form is the standard. This is the mathematical language that exponent form. But I am using symbolic form just to understand it. Okay. So x cube means x dot x dot a. That means 3 times x. So this is called degree. So x to the power 5 means what? 5 times multiplication of x. x dot x dot x dot x dot x. 5 times. It's clear. So for an exponent number, suppose if we consider an example that 5 to the uh, 7 to the power 4. Okay. In this exponent number, this is called exponential form. This is called exponential form. Exponential form. Okay. Or exponent number. So 7 to the power 4. Here, the number which placed in this position, in the place of 7, the number which placed in this position is called base. Here 7 is base and 4 is power or index. Power of index. So, an exponent form is of like this. A number after that on head another number. So, number which placed in this position is called base. And the number which placed in this box is called power. Or index. Okay. So, this is the main concept. Is it clear to you? Now, we have to learn about the laws of exponent or laws of indices. Indices and exponent basically same thing. So, next, I am considering one more example. Hope you get the idea that what is exponential form. Exponential form means that symbolic form. Mm. Next suppose, I am considering number 64. So 64 can be written as 8 into 8. This is one way. Second way, 4 into 4 into 4. Is it true? 64 can be written as 2 into 2. For this 4, I am writing 2 into 2. For second 4, again 2 into 2. And for third 4, again 2 into 2. Okay, so is it possible to express this number 64 into the exponent form? Yes, it is possible. How? A 64 can be written as 8 into 8. 8 into 8 means this is nothing but our 8 square. According to our previous concept that we have multiplied here the same number how many times? 2 times. So this is 8 square. This is nothing but our in symbolic form or exponent form 4 q. Okay, and this is nothing but 2 to the power 4. How many times are there? 3 or 3? 6 times. So, so 2 to the power 6. So according to this concept, 64 can be written as 80 square or 4 cube or 2 to the power 6. When we will write that 64 equals to 80 square, this means that here 8 is base and power is 2. If we write 64 equals to 2 to the power 6,
if you write 64 equals to the power 6 then here base is 2 and power is 6 or index is 6 okay if we write 64 equals to 4 cube then here base is 4 and power is 3 is it clear to you so this is the main concept of indices or exponent this is the introduction part that what is exponent and what is indices okay exponent then what exponent means basically a form or indices means also basically a form of a number okay if we write 64 as suppose i am giving the place of 64 4 q then this is the form of form of 64 which kind of form is this no this is exponent form exponential form or exponent form in simple exponent form exponent form of 64 okay it is clear to you next actually in this chapter we have to learn the laws of indices actually in this chapter we have to learn about the laws of indices laws means which operation actually in mathematics there are four types of fundamental operations what one is addition second one is subtraction third one multiplication and another one is division this addition multiplication subtraction and division these four operations are called fundamental operation in mathematics okay so now we will try that is it possible is it possible to x will be in power form okay to if we have to exponent number is it possible to add this two number or multiply this two number or divide or uh, subtract that means we have to check now that if we are having two exponent number that means two numbers which are in exponent form then is it possible to add them or subtract them or multiply them or divide to divide them is it possible just we will check now let me discuss first about the laws of indices okay or exponent suppose I am considering an example 2 to the power 4 clearly this is an exponent number and I am considering one more uh, exponent number that 2 to the power 3 I have considered here 2 exponent number 2 to the power 4 1 and another one is 2 cube is it clear now we are going to multiply these two exponent number okay if we multiply these two exponent number then now my question is is it possible to express the result into exponent form is it clear to you this is one exponent form that means power form this is one another exponential form now my question is is it possible to express the product value that means the resulting value into the exponent form so let's go to check it what is what exactly the meaning of 2 to the power 4 i am expanding it 2 to the power 4 means 4 times multiplication of 2 that means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 this is for 2 to the power 4 after that multiplication sign is there so i am using multiplication sign after that 2 cube is there 2 cube means 3 times 2 2 into 2 into 2 so the first one is for 2 to the power 4 and second one is for 2 to the power 3 or 2 cube now is it possible to express the product value into a single exponent form is it possible yes it is possible why since if we hide this part of if we forget about this part then there is the multiplication of a same number what 2 then how many times multiplication of same number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 times multiplication of a same number 
so we can write it according to our knowledge 2 to the power 7 is it true or not 2 to the power 7 is also the same that 7 times multiplication of 2 and here is 7 times multiplication of 2 so we can express this line into a single exponent form which is 2 to the power 7 so we get 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 3 that means ultimately we get 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 3 equals to what? 2 to the power 7 so we can express the exponent form 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 3 equals to 2 to the power 7 we multiplied here to exponential number and we get 2 to the power 7 one more exponential number okay now question arises that suppose i am giving you that one number 2 to the power 4 okay one number 2 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 4 now try try to express the product into a single exponent form is it possible or not what is the meaning of 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 5 times multiplication of 2 multi draw cross is there so I put here 3 to the power 4 so 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 this is the meaning of 3 to the power 4 this is for 3 to the power 4 and this is the meaning of 2 to the power 5 now is it possible to express this entire part into a single exponent form no will you say that sir it is 2 to the power 8 uh, 2 to the power 9 no, 2 to the power 9 means you have to multiply repeated times 2 to the power 9. 2 into 2 into 2 in this way you have to multiply 9 times. But there is, you can't express this product value into a single exponent form. Now, why you could not express it into a single exponent form? This is the question. Since the, there are two different numbers. One number is 2 and another is 3. If there is, uh, if in, instead of 3, if there is a 2 then we able to express but since there are two different number so we could not express this right hand side into a single exponent form okay so we get a message from this example what that we have considered here this is one exponent number and this is second exponent number but after multiplying these two exponent number we are unable to express a into a single exponent number the reason is this since here 2 and 3 are different for the first case 2 is called base of first exponent and for the second exponential number 3 is called base of second exponent so the base of first one and base of second one in this case are different that is why we are unable to express it into a single exponent form is it clear so when we we'll, uh, when we can express a multiplication value of two exponent form into a single exponent form if their base is same see the first example here first one was an exponent number of base 2 and second one also of base 2 so 2 and 2 base same base same so we are able to express into a single exponent form Clear. So you have to keep in your mind that the laws of exponent only you can apply when the base is same. Clear. And in the case of multiplication, see here 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 3 equals to we get 2 to the power 7. How? So here 4 times was there and here 3 times. So, so total 7 times are there. For the first example, so in the case of indices, if both exponents numbers are having same base, then we have to add the power. Suppose I am asking you one example that 7 to the power 4 into 7 to the power 9. What will be the value? Is it possible to express it into a single exponent form? Yes. Why? For the first one, here base is 7 for first exponent number 7 to the power 4 here base is 7 and for the second exponent number here also base is 7 
So we can express it into a single exponent form. Why? 7 to the power 4 means here 4 times 7. 4 times multiplication of 7. Okay. This is 7 to the power 4. E2 is there. And 7 to the power 9 means again we have to write 777 into this way. How many times? We have to write 9 times. So 9 times. And there is 4 times. So total how many times are there? How many times 7 are there? There is 9 times, there is 7 times. So 9 plus 4 equals to 13 times are there. So we can write 7 to the power 13. Clear? So from this line, we can derive a rule that if base is same, then we have to add the power. See, here 4 plus 9, we get 13. Here 4 plus 3 means 7. We have to add the power. Why? The power says that how many times the number is there. Clear? So our first rule or first law of exponent is this. That x to the power n into x to the power n where m and n are any number and see the first one is an exponent form and second one is also an exponent form so we have base also said the base for first one is x and base for second one x so we can write x to the power what we have to add the power m plus n so this is the law of exponent this is the first law so laws of exponent only applicable when base are same is it clear very important part if base are different then you could not apply the law of indices so this is the first law of indices note down this part and you have to memorize this result that x to the power m into x to the power n will become x to the power m plus n clear next this was for multiplication now we have to learn for division what will happen exactly if we divide to exponent number so let's go for division so I'm writing in right hand side, okay? So first law is x to the power m into x to the power n equals to x to the power m plus n. Next second second law of indices. Suppose I am considering uh, 5 to the power 7. This is one exponent number obviously where base is 5 and power is 7. Divided by 5 to the power 3. Suppose 5 to the power 3 that means 5 cube. So here also base is 5 and power is 3. So if we expand it, actually this is the this are in symbolic form, okay. So if we convert it into our well-known form, then what will happen? Let's go to see that. So equals to 5 to the power 7 divided by 5 cube. This is nothing but 5 to the power 7 by 5 cube. This two are same thing. Okay. Now what exactly 5 to the power 7? 5 to the power 7 means 7 times multiplication of 5 7 times multiplication how many times 7 times which number we have to multiply 5 so 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 so this is 7 times multiplication of 5 and what is the meaning of 5 cube by is there so i am writing by Next 5 cube. 5 cube means 5 into 5 into 5. 3 times. Now you are getting, are you getting any ideas? Yes. We can cancel out from over numerator and denominator. How? Suppose this 5 and this 5 cancel out. Divide. It is divide. So you can cancel. This 5, this 5 cancel out. And this 5, this 5 cancel out. So what is the answer? The answer is this Fives only. So five into five into five.
5 into 5. This is the answer. Now the question is, is it possible to express this number into exponent form? Yes, it is possible since there is the multiplication of number 5, repeated time multiplication of 5 and it will be 5 to the power 4. Is it clear? So what we get? That 5 to the power 7 divided by 5 cube, then ultimate result will be 5 to the power 4. That means 5 to the power 7 by 5 to the power 3 equals to 5 to the power 4. This is the result. So 5 to the power, we get this result. 5 to the power 7 by 5 cube equals to 5 to the power 4. Just we have to reduce the power. Check. 5 to the power 7 was there in numerator, 7 times was there and in denominator 3 times was there. So we have to reduce the power of numerator, the number from numerator. How many times? That the equal times of denominator. So there are 3 times was there. So we have to reduce 3 times. So we can make a rule from this concept. Okay. How? The rule will be like that x to the power m by x to the power n see here the over numerator and denominator they are having exponent form and uh, base are basically same the first one base is x and second one also x so in this case we have to subtract the power m minus n see 5 to the power 7 by 5 to the power 3 equals to 5 to the power 4 how will we get 4 7 minus 3 means 4 we have in numerator 7 times 7 times there and in denominator 3 times was there so we have to decrease this 3 times from the numerator that is why it will be 5 to the power 4 that means 7 minus 3 that is why we write here x to the power m by x to the power n equals to x to the power m minus n is it clear to you this is the second rule of exponent next Also for we app, uh, if base are not same then we could not apply this rule of exponent clear you can check by yourself next third rule okay third rule is like First, you have to know about this important exponent rule that x to the power 0 equals to 1, where x if x is a non-zero number, then x to the power 0 must be equals to 1. Okay, x to the power 0 equals to 1. This is one important reason that for any number, if power is 0, then value is 1. As for example, 2 to the power 0, 1, 5 to the power 0, value 1. If 1000 to the power 0, then also value 1. If 1 lakh to the power 0, then also value 1. Okay, if power is 0, then value 1. h to the power 0, 1. y to the power 0, 1. Okay, if power is 0, then value is 1. Okay, so you have to memorize this result. So this is also a rule of exponent that x to the power 0 equals to 1. Okay, this is the third rule. We have to prove it, how it will come, that x to the power 0 equals to 1. Okay, we have to prove it. This is very easy. See the proof. Suppose, I am considering x to the power m by x to the power m. What will be the value of this? x to the power m by x to the power m. We are dividing x to the power m by x to the power m. Then, then the value will be 1. It is obvious. Numerator, denominator cancel out and value will come 1. So if we apply the rule of exponent, then division is there. 
and base also same so we can use this this rule the power should be minus so x to the power m minus m equals to 1 just we have simplified the left hand side so this is nothing but x to the power m minus m means what is the value of m minus m 0 equals to 1 this complete the proof understood okay so this is the third rule this was the first rule this was second rule and this is third rule next fourth rule of exponent fourth rule fourth rule is x to the power minus m can be written as 1 by x to the power m this is the fourth rule x to the power minus m can be written as 1 by x to the power m now we have to prove it and you have to memorize this result also ok we have to prove this result how very easy look at the board ok x to the power minus m this can be written as x to the power 0 minus m is it true Ma in the place of minus m we can write 0 minus m why 0 minus m also the answer is minus m so in the place of minus m we can write 0 minus m ok next apply the rule of indices what x to the power m minus x to the power n this can be written as x to the power m by n from this side to that side we can write and from that side to this side also we can write so x in the place of x to the power m minus x to the power n we can write x to the power m by x to the power n so here x to the power 0 minus x to the power n in this place we can write x to the power 0 by x to the power m understood See, in the case of division, we have to subtract the power, so it will become 0 minus n. So, this, in the place of this term, we can write this term. Now, what is the value of x to the power 0? The power is 0, that means the value is 1. So, in numerator, will 1 and denominator, x to the power m itself. So, we have x to the power minus m equals to 1 by x to the power m. So, this complete the proof. So, this proof. So this is our fourth exponent which we have to memorize. So fourth exponent is x to the power minus m equals to 1 by x to the power m. This is our fourth result. Fourth rule of exponent. Clear? You have to note down all these things otherwise you will forget. Otherwise, you will forget it. Okay, next. Next rule of exponent is rule number 5. x to the power m whole power n this can be written as x to the power mn mn means product of m and n that means x to the power m whole power n then we can multiply this to power x to the power m into n clear we have to prove it so this is one more rule of exponent and we have to prove this result this is also one law of exponent. How can we prove it? See the proof. X to the power m whole power n. It is given. Okay. So if we take this as a single number. Okay. And the power of this is n so what is the meaning of this 
n time multiplication of this since power is n what is the meaning of 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 means 5 times multiplication of 2 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that means 5 times multiplication of 2 so if we take this as 2 then 2 to the power n is there that means n time multiplication of if we take x to the power n as a single number then this to the power n that means n to uh, this to the power n that means n times multiplication of this so it will be x to the power m into x to the power m into x to the power m into dot 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 x to the power m how many times will be there there will be n times how many times n times do you understand do you understand this fact that x to the power m whole power n if we take this as a single then this to the power n that means we have to multiply n times of this so i have multiplied here n times of this clear now since product is there product is there if we have the product x to the power m into x to the power n then we have to add the power so since product is there so we have to add the power so x to the power m add all the power this m plus this m plus this m plus dot 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 m okay how many times are there there is also n times n times addition of m equals to x to the power n times addition of m is nothing but n into m okay n into m that means m into m this complete the proof understood suppose you multiply 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 in this way 100 times okay in this way 100 times so you will add in this way that 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 in this way no since 100 times 2 is there, 100 times addition of 2 is there, so just multiply 2 into 100, then you will get the answer. So in similar way, we are, in similar thing we have used here, that m plus m plus n, m, how many times are there? n times are there, so n into m. Hope you get the concept. So, you have to note down this result also that x to the power m whole power n equals to x to the power m into n okay so this is one more result that x to the power m whole power n equals to x to the power m n this is rule number five Yeah. You have to memorize thoroughly all this rule of exponent or indices. Next, suppose x into y, two numbers are there, whole power m is given. So we can distribute the power. Okay, we can distribute the power over all the factors which are in first bracket. So it can be written as x to the power m into y to the power m this is also rule and exponent and the case of division also same number x by y suppose there is x by y whole to the power m then we can distribute the power over numerator and denominator that means it will become x to the power m by x, x to the power m by y to the power m so this is one rule and this is another rule so you have to prove this one how so i am proving first the first number six number rule okay so six number proof of six number six number is given x into y to the power okay i am considering a particular example okay then you will understand better so to prove six number i am discussing example that x into y to the power four equals to what 
if we take x y as a single then the power of this is 4 that means 4 times multiplication of this so 1 times 2 times 3 times into 4 times so just make the group consider all x in one place so x into x into x into x into now consider all y in together then y so this is nothing but x into x into x into x means 4 times x so this can be written as x to the power 4 into 4 times y is there so y to the power 4 so we can distribute the power over all the factors which are in first bracket okay this is the rule actually for m in the place of m if there will be m then there will be m times so for m times you will get here m times x and you will get here m times y so it will be x to the power m and it will be y to the power m so this complete the proof for 6 similarly 7 number to prove 7 number to prove 7 number again I am proving it by considering a particular number. So, what x by y to the power 5 is given. So, if we take x by y as a single, then since the power of this is 5, so we have to multiply 5 times of this, 5 times multiplication of this. So, this is nothing but x by y, this is 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times and 5 times multiplication of x by y now there is no chance to cancel out so we have to multiply the numerator and we have to multiply the denominator so if you multiply the numerator then x into x into x into x into x how many times x are there 5 times so it can be written into the exponent form x to the 5 and similarly y into y into y into y 5 times so y to the power 5 understood so x by y whole to the power 5 was there whole to the power 5 means the we can distribute the power over numerator and denominator x to the 5 into y to the 5 hope you understand okay this is the seven number rule next one more important rule is there you have to memorize this all seven rule okay thoroughly eight number rule that x by y to the power suppose m then it can be written as y by x to the power minus m this is very important that just we have considered the reciprocal of this see here x by y to the power m was there in the place of x by y we have written here y by x that means reciprocal of x by y that is why we have to take a minus here okay there will be a minus suppose we have x by y and we need y by x so we have to put a minus before power okay i am proving this one hope all of you have note down this up to 7 rule I will prove this one, 8 number, we will prove from right hand side okay suppose we have considered y by x to the power minus m okay it to prove this result we will use this rule number 4 if we consider this as x then x to the power minus m equals to what 1 by x to the power m so in the place of it will be 1 this to the power m is it true see 
just we take this as x then x to the power minus m equals to 1 by x to the power n see y by x y by x that's clear now this is y to the power m by x to the power m just yes, we can distribute that. the power over numerator and denominator and 1 by y to the power m by x to the power m means we can reverse the denominator and it will be x to the power m by y to the power m and this is nothing but x by y to whole to the power m so this complete the proof this class is up to this and next day i'll be discuss about some examples on the concept of this indices okay next day i will discuss some examples on the basis of rule of exponent okay so keep watching and bye bye please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you get the notification of all updates